very valuable for us. So uh, it gives a great opportunity right now for some of our guys. There's, there's probably 30 minutes available for others to play, and we will uh, we look forward to seeing those guys play out there. Uh, in, in the meantime, our price has been spirited, and we have, uh, we're making progress, but we're probably uh, still not <coughs> sure what way we're going to play quite yet, so we're still experimenting like crazy. Can Spike move into that role? Or yeah, he should, his Spike will start tomorrow. He will, and that's, you know, he's been uh, in a backup role all year, so he's uh, he's been running his team, or both teams all year long. How's he done for you so far? He is, uh, he's been very good. He's very clever. Mm -hmm. I think everybody will really, ho hopefully what he's been doing in practice, we're going to see on the floor. He is a very uh, clever, great vision, uh, make some plays that make us smile. I'm sure you make a lot of mistakes along the way. When you're a quarterback, point guard, you're in that position where you may make a lot of mistakes, uh, but uh, he grows from it. We'll start with him. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I could, probably the, the four that I'm sure will start tomorrow will be uh, Spike and Tim, uh, Jordan Morgan, and uh, Glenn Robinson. Those four I know will start, and I'm still looking at the other four or five options that we have there, who's going to fill in that fifth spot. With, Jord with Horford and Mitch, are they going to be able to play tomorrow? Yeah, Mitch is going to be able to play. Yeah. He, he's really made good progress. Uh, you know, he's worked hard. At, he, he came in here and, and with the good food and the weightlifting and everything like that, he got real big. And that's not good for your foot. You know, and I'm not talking about fat, I'm just saying, so he's really worked really hard at his diet right now to make sure that he's, we, he's probably gonna play best at 255, 260. He's a little over that now. What about Horford? Horford's not gonna play, uh, but really feels good right now. Uh, he's been through one week now. Uh, it happened, yeah, a, a week ago today. So it's been one week now. He's making really good progress. Do you anticipate him being available? I hope so. This I hope he was really playing so. well. He was rebounding well. He was doing so many good things. And uh, you know, he's he's worked so hard that after it's, even last year when he was sitting out, and now uh, uh, I want him to get in there. I mean, it's a personal thing with me because I know when someone can work this hard, I want to give him an opportunity. Tim said that uh, Spike Albrecht has actually taken the most charges of anyone. Did that surprise you at all? See him he's taken the most charges? Charges. Yeah, he was not, he's willing to do a lot of things that uh, it must be in the water in that area of northern Indiana because he, he takes charges, Glenn takes charges, Mitch takes charges. It says a lot about you know uh, their, their whole upbringing. And uh, that's pretty good. But Spike has led us so far, and that's, that's good. But what we have on this team right now is we have a complete team that is willing to do that. Uh, not just Michigan, but that's rare that you get teams that everyone would do that. How do the personalities mesh? Do you like the, the chemistry? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, it, it's, it's interesting. That, you know, every team is different, mm -hmm. but everybody's, uh, some are uh, extra highly emotional and some are very calm, and I think they play off each other very well. And we're trying to get maybe the guys that are calm to amp it up a little bit more, give us a little bit more enthusiasm, and those that give us so much enthusiasm, just be more on an even keel. Who are your most vocal guys in the court right now? <coughs> maybe most excited? Yeah, I, I, Tim and Mitch are both very, uh, and uh, they're very, very emotional out there. Um, and Trey Burke has given us a lot of emotion in practice in a very positive way. That is, you know, he didn't do as much last year, but he's been he's been <coughs> showing great leadership on the court. Are you going to be essentially a man team this year? Or are you going to vary man and zone, or is that way too far away to say? We uh, evolved more to man. You know, I, I think that this league is a, is a man league, yeah. and uh, you know, I would we'll wait and see how much we play, whether we play uh, any other zones that we played in the past. But uh, we've been like most teams right now. We we practice a lot of man to man defense. Tim said that Karis LeVert's been one of the bigger surprises. Uh, has he surprised you a little bit? Yeah, yes, he has. <laughs> what does he, what's he do? Well, well, because he just has a, uh, he's getting stronger by the moment. He, get, he has a nose for the ball. He's very bright. And uh, he is, uh, I'm glad they allow people to play in these exhibitions. There's freshmen, they play in these exhibition games. And with the uh, minutes to be available, he's going to play some minutes tomorrow now. Not two or three. You know, I hope we get him 10 or 20. What do you expect out of the freshmen tomorrow, the first game? Uh, I expect them to. I I expect them to be freshmen. I really do. And, and I, 
I said, I'm watching this Northern Michigan uh, video, and I keep forgetting that when I was a Division II coach, we had good players, and Northern Michigan's got good players. And a lot of people will see that and say, well, they don't, you know, they're just playing a Division II team. No, every Division II team has, everybody's on scholarship, and one was one of the best players in their high school, and they can play. And we, we you know, I don't know how the game will go all that, because I know we have, we're going to have five freshmen out there at different times. And uh, they'll, they'll, if they play beyond their years, you know, that would be, that would be something special, but we know it's rare. How do you divide up minutes for a game like we, this? We've tried, we've tried to do that. We have the guys we target 30. I mean, I would assume we'll have some 30-minute guys, and whatever it takes to do to win the game. I think we, uh, we barely snuck by Wayne State last year about this time, and we ended up winning the Big Ten Championship. So we will we'll go in it to win it, but we'll also try to get as many minutes as we can for people to evaluate. Do you put an emphasis on winning these games? Absolutely. I mean, you see around the country, like teams like Syracuse, I think last year lost to to Le Moyne. Well, yeah, whoever heard of such a thing? Whoever heard of such a thing? And I think Syracuse got all the way to the top five. They, it can happen. It can happen. We 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 understand that. And uh, if we do not win this game, we know we have a lot more work to do than maybe we think. With the freshmen, uh, is it the defense that has to get the most up to speed, or does that vary from guy to guy? Well, both things right now is the timing because we're we're playing with a lot of things offensively and defensively. I thought it would be a mistake if we just said this is the way we're playing the first three weeks without really knowing what people can handle. So we've been throwing a lot of things so that I don't think you can change your game plan in February is what I'm saying. We've been, so we're probably a jack of many trades and a master of none right now. Do you have a name for your offense? I've seen it called two guard. That's it, That's two it. guards, two guard. That's one of yeah, what's the name? Then we could call it four guard too, because there's truthfully four guards out there sometimes. How much we use these exhibition games to determine red shirts for the year? Probably a little bit. We'll probably look at them. You know, they, I think we have uh, necessities in a lot of areas uh, that would be tough to red shirt some, but if we feel somebody's not going to get significant playing time, and we really feel it'd be a great one to have in the fifth year. You know, we would. We have to make sure they have all the information they have to make that decision. The balance for some freshmen to, to look for their shots. Is Glenn aggressive enough for you in that respect? I want him to be more aggressive. Okay. I want him to be more aggressive because he can really shoot and he can really play. But he's, his, his assist turnover ratio in practices has, has been really good for a freshman. Mm -hmm. Really good. And uh, so that's you know, a great sign because a lot of times guys with, with that, Athleticism trying to jump over everybody. He's, he's stopped on a dime and made some really good passes and kept that charge with Looney. How are your freshmen adjusting to learning two positions? Obviously, that's, that's, been, that's been difficult because mm -hmm. we, we, after a week, we said, okay, now let's throw the kitchen sink at them mm -hmm. and see what they can handle and then try to come out. So that's why I'm saying we're, yep. we're not, uh, our execution, both offensively and defensively, is way off where it. It maybe should, if we were defined with eight people are going to play, we know your position, you know, we're still, we're still, uh, we're closer than we were when I talked to you last week, mm -hmm. we're closer than we were when we talked to you, you know, three weeks ago, but we're not where we, where we expect to be in January and February, that's for sure. Anybody have okay, anything? everybody enjoy the new arena. I hope you like your seating and your consent. Are we give them something good to eat? Um, we're working on it. <laughs> we're working. Remember, I was the proponent of that many years ago. So we're a buffet. You lost the buffet. It's awesome. It'll be coming back. Love the buffet. Next year, coming back next year the buffet. This year we still get the bucket over whatever. But, uh, <laughs> let's hope it's not the full level this year. <laughs> All right. So.